In this video, we'll be seeing how to send emails in Laravel. First of all, you can open this documentation. I will give the link. You can open this documentation and uh, you can go to the generating mailables. And here you can see you have to create a mailable. And uh, let's create that using this command php artisan make mail and then the name of the class. You can copy this one and we can run that inside our Laravel application. So here you can see I'm having a to do app application. So this was a tutorial. So you can watch this tutorial as well on the YouTube channel. So you can check the link. I will give the link for this as well. And we can add this mailable to this project. So simply run this PHP artisan make mail and then this class name. Now you can see mailable is created successfully and you can see that inside the app slash mail. Now inside the app, you will be having a new folder that is mail. Okay, open this one and you can see a file like this. So you can see that we are having the content and the envelope. So these are two main things that we'll be using. In the documentation, you can scroll down a little bit further and you can see how to use the envelope and how to use all these things. You can see a view and uh, you can see plain text emails and also ones with the HTML and uh, passing a view and all. So you can see how uh, you can configure each things and a lot about the mailable class so you can read this one it is very useful and you can read this one and understand all the documentations i'll be explaining you the basics and how to send a mail so we'll be doing it with the view we'll be passing a view and we'll be passing some uh, data to that view and we'll be also using the envelope and we'll be sending the mail so let's assume that we are sending a mail for a order that is shipped okay so that's what we created right now. So in that case, we have to receive the details about the order. So for that, we can create a variable that is maybe like protected dollar order. Now we can come inside the constructor and here we can dollar this of order equals. We have to receive the order. So you can add that here equal to dollar order. So in the documentation, you can see here on the sender configuration, we can add the from address of the sender here like this, okay, using the address class inside the mailable. So you can come inside this envelope, so this class and inside this return new envelope. Inside this, we can type from and new address. So you have to make sure that you are importing the class inside illuminate slash mail slash mailables, okay. So you can see that class here. So this is the class. Okay. So make sure that you are importing the proper class. Okay. And inside that we can pass the email and the name of the user. That is the from address. Okay. So you can give a comma here and pass the next one. You can see address and then the name. And you have to change the semicolon to comma. Okay. We'll be using MailTrap to send the mail and test them. So you can create an account in this. And inside this, we can uh, click on the start testing and you can click on add inbox name something here. Give a name here and you can click on save. So this is our inbox and you can click on the settings. And you can see the SMTP settings of our inbox. And uh, we can copy this and add this to our Laravel application. So you can copy this host name and you can copy the port and also we can copy the username and password as well and you can go to this dot uh, env file here and you can scroll down and find the mail configurations here okay you can see this one and here we can add the host name that we copied so that was this one you can paste that here and then we can add the port so we can see that we can use all these ports so currently we are using this port so we can keep that now you can copy this username and password so give the username here and then the password here now we have to set the mail encryption and it was tls we can set the from address here and you can change the name here if you want to so right now it will be using the app name so whatever name that you are going to give here will be used here okay so you can change this one if you need to so that's it so you have to give the proper from address otherwise you could get errors so right now since we are using sandbox we can use anyone that works 
So here we can give the email, we can give any from, because we are using the sandbox and uh, we can give a name here. Okay. And you can give the subject. Let's keep the subject. Now we can move to the content area. Here we can see that we are passing a view here. So for the view, we have to create a view first of all. So we can go to the resources and inside the views, we can create a folder, maybe name it mails. And inside that we can create a file, like something like order.blade.php. Okay. And inside that we can add whatever things that you need for the email. So I'll be adding this so you can see that we will be passing the order name and order price. So this will be our email. You can see your order has been shipped and you can see the order name and order price. You can design this accordingly. You can add HTML and if you wish to pass a plain text instead of this view, you can also add text here. Okay. We are also having an option to set it to HTML. So right now we can use view itself and we can pass our view that is uh, mails dot and uh, the name is order. Okay. So this will be our, sorry. Okay. So this will be our email and this will be the view that we are going to pass and we can pass this order variable to this view in order to do that. You can come here and uh, add a width and then we can pass an array. And inside this array, we can pass the details like, so inside this order.blade.php, we need order name and the order price. So let's do it like that. Okay. So this is the syntax. You have to add a order name, sorry, order price. So let's add order price and you can get that from dollar order. So dollar this of order and then the price. So we'll be assigning that, okay. And then the order name, you can do it like this. So we'll be passing this as an array. So we can change this to array. We'll not be using objects. So if it is an object, you can do it like this. Since we will be passing an array, you can do it like this, okay. This of order of name and price, okay. So this order will be an array that we'll be passing soon from the controller, we'll be passing that details. Okay, so this will pass order name and order price to this view part. So therefore that we can access this dollar order name and dollar order price. Okay, otherwise you will get error here. Okay, so pass this like this. Okay, now we can create a controller to send the mail. So I'll be using some existing controllers from here. So let's use this one. Okay, and let's create a function. We only need to create one function to send the mail. So I'll show you what that function will be. Function send mail. You can name it anything. Okay. That doesn't matter. So according to your use case, you can uh, customize this. So I'll be simply showing how to send this one. Dollar order. And uh, we need to send the data. So that is, we are sending the name and the price. So name we can send. You can fetch these details from the database and uh, forward that. So we'll be sending some uh, random name, add a product name here. And then we are also having a price. So you can add the price here. So not price, you can uh, add some actual price here. Okay, you can add the price here. And then we can add a semicolon here. So this will be the data that we are going to pass. And then we can call the mail class, okay. And you can see that we'll be using the illuminate slash support slash packets. And inside that we can set to, and then you can specify the recipient details. So to whom you will be sending this. So we'll be sending the mail to this email and uh, we can attach the content. So send, and now we can call new and then call the mailable that is order shipped. And inside that, we have to pass the dollar order. And that's it. So, hope it is visible for you. So, this will send the mail to this email. Okay. So, whatever content that we have done inside this mailable uh, will be sent to uh, this user. So, you can set the email and all from the database. According to your logic, you can do that. And then maybe we can return some message. Okay. So, we'll be returning email sent successfully. That's it. So this will send the email to the user.
So that's all. So here you can see this is the function which will send the email and uh, we have created a mailable class. You can see that here. Okay. And inside this, we have to simply specify. We are passing some uh, variables. You can set that like this using the constructor. We will be passing that from here. Okay. And then uh, you can set the envelope and you can set the from address details here. And then the subject here. And in the content, we can pass the view and to the view we can pass the variables like this okay so order price order name and that can be accessible in the view like this okay so hope you understand that is very simple if you want to attach some uh, attachment you can do that here we'll be getting to that so i'll be showing you that as well so let's try if this is working so for that we have to call this function from the route so you can uh, go to the route section and add a route to send this one so let's come here and route so this will be our route you can see send email and this is a get request so on calling this uh, route we will be sending the mail to this user and with these details and this will be the ui and let's see how it is working so we can call this route so let's run this project php artisan serve and hit enter i can open this you need mysql running in order to run this project so let's start mysql since i'm using mysql as the database you have to have mysql running if you're using sqlite it will be stored automatically so you don't have to worry about it since we are using mysql in this project i'll be turning on this one okay now we can run this and you can see this is the to-do list app that we were working on so let's call the route send email you can see that email sent successfully that means the email has been sent to the user properly so let's see how we can verify this so you can see this inside the logs because we inside the dot env file forgot to change this to smtp so that's why it will be inside the logs you can see this is the email and it has been sent properly but it is inside the log itself since in the dot env file you can see this is set to log so you have to set this to smtp and you are good to go save it now you can run it once more we can refresh this page now you can see it is taking a little bit more time so this is sending the mail you can see it is completed now so it should have sent the email and here inside the mail trap you can see inside the inbox you can take your inbox that you created and inside this we can see the mail has arrived and you can open that you can see from details here so this is the from details we have given and then the two details so everything is working properly and you can see the plain text that we have given that is order shipped order name and then the product name that we simply passed this is the variable okay so the actual data is here and then the price and the price that we have passed okay so i think uh, we might be adding the dollar priorly as well okay so you can adjust that accordingly and i hope you understand it is a very simple way you can view that here on different devices so if you are sending html you can use this to view the responsiveness of the email so that's it you simply have to set the smtp details properly okay and now we can see how to attach an attachment to the mail so that you can come here and in this attachment option we can pass the attachment uh, so for that you can come inside this return so we are returning an array here so here we can add an attachment so type attachment and you can see that we have to use this attachment not this one okay so this one uh, illuminate slash mail slash mailables then the attachment class okay and uh, we can call from storage because we'll be passing this from the storage and uh, then we can give the path so for the path we can uh, add a file inside uh, the storage uh, and app maybe inside the public i have already added a file you can see this test file.zip you can use a pdf file i don't recommend you to send a zip file through mail because it will be flagged as a uh, malicious code or something so i don't recommend you to send zip file as an attachment through the mail instead of that you can uh, upload this to a server and send the link of the zip file to be downloaded 
and that's the best practice since i am not getting a pdf file i'm using this for the testing purpose since we are using this in a sandbox uh, mail uh, it will work okay so gmail will definitely flag this and uh, it will not be delivered so i will recommend you to use a link for the zip file so instead of this you can use a pdf file and the process is exactly the same i will tell you if you are using a pdf file where all you have to change okay so here we can add the path to this file simply copy the path so this is the path okay so the path is added here you don't have to add storage here because we are already inside the storage with the function from storage so it will be here then app that is this then public that is this and then the file name that is this one and that's it so here before the comma we can come here and add as and we can give a name for the file like test file okay you can keep it capital so you know that we are changing the file name okay and again we can add one more thing that is uh, with meme and we can set the type that is application slash zip so in case you are using a pdf you have to specify the file name that is dot pdf and then the file name here also that is dot pdf then here application slash pdf instead of zip add it as application slash pdf that's it so this will add an attachment to your uh, uh, email so it's very simple simply call this and you have to make sure that you are importing the proper classes okay so this is the attachment class and all so this is the envelope and the content and all this so you can see that most of the things will be already here when you create this class the attachment already i show you okay so now we can try running this and test it so we are getting an error here so you can go back to the code and maybe this should be not accessible so we can add a disk here storage disk from storage disk and then we can specify this disk that is uh, public and uh, we can specify the file name since we are already inside the public we can specify the file name itself okay so this should solve the problem okay you can specify from storage disk and public then the file name so if you are wondering from where we are getting this uh, disk you can uh, go to this uh, configurations and uh, open the file system and here we can give see the uh, public file system this one okay so if you want to add a new one you can simply add this and uh, you can duplicate this one and add those all, all those details here okay so the root path you can add it here like this and then the url and all these things okay so we are using this public file system and we have added the file to storage app public and the file name okay so this should solve the problem let's refresh this page okay now you can see it is uh, loading that means the file has been sending you can see email sent successfully and here on the mail trap you can see we have received the mail and you can see the attachment here you can see on the right side we are having the attachment here okay so you can click this and download and you can see the mail details here so hope you understand so we saw how to send a mail and also how to add an attachment there are more things that you can do for that you can simply refer this documentation url i'll give the link for this and you can refer this there are a lot of things that you can read and understand from this so hope you find this video helpful if you have any doubt leave a comment below and i'll be responding to them if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos